Hey guys, welcome to this new video and in this video we will be going to take a look how we can create a Kubernetes cluster and for this demonstration I am going to use the DigitalOcean as my cloud provider for creating up the Kubernetes cluster. So this is the very first video of the practical implementation in HLF operator. So for that we need the Kubernetes cluster. So we will create a Kubernetes cluster from here. So to create a Kubernetes cluster first you have to log into DigitalOcean and from here you can just go to this create button and then you can choose Kubernetes cluster then after that you can leave the uh, version as is which is the recommended version and then I am going to choose the data center which is nearest to my region so that is Bangalore region and after that I can just go here and here uh, you can give the node pool name and I am leaving this as default and initially we are moving with the three nodes, uh, three node Kubernetes cluster. So by default, uh, the value is three, but in future, if we require that we need some more uh, nodes, then we'll increase them. And after that, you can give the name to your Kubernetes cluster. So I'm going to call it as uh, HLF K8 and then uh, simply click on create cluster. So this is going to take some time uh, in order to create the Kubernetes cluster. So we'll wait for that. And uh, meanwhile, the cluster is creating, we will set up our kubectl command line uh, with this Kubernetes cluster. So while our cluster is creating, we can set up the kubectl command line. So for that, we need the kubeconfig file so that we can get from here. When you go to this action tab, you, will, you can see this download config option. Just click this and uh, you can see that uh, kubeconfig uh, file got downloaded. Now uh, what I'll do, I'll open my terminal and, and there I will put this file into the uh, kubeconfig directory. So this is my terminal. Uh, let me just zoom in. So now we can move to the download directory because uh, this is the place where the file got downloaded. And now I can do sudo uh, cp and the name of the file was hlf hyphen k8 cube config and then i have to put it inside the root directory and there we have one folder cube and there we have one file which is config that we are going to replace actually so hit enter let me put my password here now this is done and now if i just clear this and uh, uh, if I do kubectl get nodes, if our cluster is ready, then it should show us uh, the nodes. But uh, since the cluster is not ready yet, uh, we are getting this error message. So let's move to the browser and see uh, the health of the cluster. So it is still creating. And one more thing I just want to show you is that if you scroll down, you can see your cluster ID here. So how you can identify that your uh, cube config is pointing to this cluster only. So if you uh, go to a terminal here and if you see this, uh, and if you see the output of this command, which is pointing towards uh, this DNS, if you see this carefully, this part so uh, the initial of this uh, dns the initial part of this dns is the uh, cluster id basically so you can see that it start with 0 double 3 db and here also you can see that it is the same actually which means that our cube is pointing towards this cluster only so let's wait for the kubernetes cluster to be created so seems like our cluster is created now now we can verify uh, this again using the kubectl command line. So let me clear this first. And if I do kubectl get nodes. Yeah, so I can see that all of the uh, nodes are there. Uh, all of my three nodes are here. And now uh, as a next step, uh, uh, what I'll do is uh, I'm going to set up the lens ID as well so that I can see all of my uh, pods and deployments. So for this, uh, you need to have the lens ID. 
uh, you can install that lens id through their official documentation so let me open the lens id here and here uh, you can simply click on this plus and you can you can add your cluster here so since we have already uh, moved our cube config to this location so it has automatically detected the cluster for us but if the file is not uh, on your this location then you can simply choose that file uh, from the browse option and you can point to that file so right now i'm going to click on add cluster and it is going to uh, get all the uh, details of the cluster in this dashboard only so let me try to reconnect it yeah so we can see uh, that the dashboard got loaded and if i go to node section we can see all of the three nodes and if i go to workloads and here if i go to ports uh, right now we don't have any pod in the default namespace but if i switch to cube system uh, we can see that uh, these are some of the pods that kubernetes is using internally in order to maintain the uh, networking and uh, all the other stuff so that's all for this video in the next video we will be going to take a look how we can set a fabric ca with the help of hlf operator so stay tuned for the upcoming videos